Hello, this is Russell from Community Financials. Today we're talking with Kimberly from Caliber. She's going to talk to us about Caliber Anywhere, which is a useful tool for managers to log in to see the information that's in Caliber Desktop, but they can use it anywhere using any device. And predominantly what we're going to be talking about is the plat mapping feature in Caliber, which allows uh, a manager to be able to take a look at the community from a bird's eye view and then drill down to a unit's information from the plat map. All right, thanks, Kimberly, take it away. Fantastic. So what we see on the screen here is I am logged into Caliber Anywhere. You'll use a unique link to access this site and you'll log in using the same credentials that you use on Caliber Desktop. What we see here on the screen is our data hierarchy. So we've got the list of clients and within each client we have our groups. So if I click on a group here, it'll take me to my unit list. And we've got our list of owners. And down at the bottom of the screen, I have this plat map button. So if I have a plat map loaded into my community, I've got all of my units mapped here and I can see them. I can scroll in and out to zoom and I can filter the information in the plat map if I have open uh, violation issues or compliance issues. I can see those using the filters at the bottom. I can also right click on a unit to go directly to it. And I can use my buttons for violation or maintenance problems. I can add both of those things here. So to add a violation, I'll simply hit my plus sign for violation. And I can select my category, my item, and the required action. And I can see at the Once bottom here, if the on-site manager is out in the community, they can hit that button there to take a picture and add a picture to this particular violation. They sure can. And so down at the bottom, if I hit the pictures icon, uh, because I'm on a computer, it gives me the button for upload picture and it gives me my file explorer. Now, if I were on a phone, I would have an additional option to open up my camera on my phone and I could take a picture directly in the field and it would automatically upload that in this area. I can also add notes. So I can add notes to the item and then I can add my additional details. Terrific. Uh, it is automatically going to uh, take the, whatever uh, process is assigned to this particular issue. It's going to automatically queue up the first letter in that process as long as I have this checkbox checked for use default notification process. And once I hit save, it's going to show me. Uh, I believe this is the one I just created. It's going to have a violation number created for it. It's going to have my date up here at the top. It's also going to have any CCR information that's linked to that particular item. And you can see here, it is ready to send that letter template that I have assigned as the first letter that should go out for this violation. So when I go into Caliber Desktop, it's going to be included in my bulk print. Maybe I'm re-inspecting this item and I want to advance it. I can hit the button for take next action and it will take the additional action that is uh, due. Of course, this one doesn't have an action due, but I can override that and I can say OK. And it will take that next action. And now the next letter in line is queued up for me. And that will now be included in my bulk print. Terrific. And we go back to the, if we go back to the plat map view, you could also put community assets or different, you know, uh, items of interest for the community that are, you know, maybe a, uh, a maintenance shed is located on there or something like that. Yeah, when you're when you're mapping a plat map, you get to map units and also common areas. So anything that you want to mark as an area of interest, you would just add that as a common area and then you'd map that with everything else. And so those are two separate lists in Caliber Desktop and you'll see those um, on the same map. Great. I don't uh, think I have any common cool. areas. Here. You can have, uh, you know, it's very useful for, for somebody to know on the map where the pump station is or utilities are located or something of that sort. Yes, absolutely. You can map all those things. All right. And uh, it also is helpful for if there's a maintenance call and then uh, you're able to look at the map, you can see which units next to each other uh, might be uh, uh, affected. So it's a, it's a really useful tool. Yes, absolutely. And you can see that they will change color. If you've got something that's open, it will be yellow. It'll highlight those for you. If you've got something that's in a monitored status, I don't have anything here, but it'll turn orange. And then past due will turn red and then you can clear those out as well. Terrific. So those have color indications of what's going on. If you'd rather look at the unit list, it has the same type of information using these flags over on the left side. And this is just, you log into this uh, using a web browser and you're able to get in on a tablet or a smartphone or, uh, or even yeah. from a computer. Yes, absolutely. So you'll 
use your unique link and the credentials that you use for Caliber Desktop, and you can use that on any device that has a web browser and an internet connection. That's all you need. Well, Kimberly, thank you very much for showing us about uh, Caliber Anywhere and also about plat mapping and Caliber. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.